All right, so the last step in this tutorial is uh, to be able to click on one of these uh, NFTs that's returned from OpenSea and have that uh, replace my profile pic. So um, again, I've got my wallet address connected. It's pulling in uh, the various NFTs in my wallet and I wanna be able to click on them and have it swap out this profile pic here. So if you're following along, um, if you have just an image somewhere in your scene, um, you can uh, use that to uh, replace with your NFTs. So let's take a look at how to do that. On the uh, grid row page on my image, I want uh, there to be an on-click event. So um, here under click, I'm gonna say new flow. And I'm gonna say uh, select NFT. And for the action, I want to set a variable. Um, and I'm going to use a set variable action and set this on target page as the root page um, so that it won't be set here on the child, but it'll be set on my main page, the parent. And let's call the variable um, selected NFT. And the value for this will be from an element value. That element is on this page and that's going to be my image. And for where in the element, um, since this is an image that's loading a URL, I'm going to say HTML node and the path is going to be source, SRC. So that will take that image URL, save it into a variable called selected NFT. So now let's use that on our main page. Um, actually, yeah, let's do, let's set up our action first. So here on our main page, I'm gonna create a new flow and um, it's gonna be called swap profile photo. And the first action here will be to set the value. So element set value and we want to set the value of our profile photo and we're going to set it to a variable on the current page and the variable is called selected nft so that's what this action does it's called swap profile photo that's the name of the flow so back in our child page um, on this selected NFT action, after we set the variable, I want to call that action. So, uh, oops, I'm going to use run flow on page. The page is going to be um, my demo page, and the action is this new one we just created: swap profile photo. So now when this runs, it's going to set the variable and then it's going to um, run that action, which should update my photo. Uh, the last thing I want to do is just set my cursor on this uh, photo to a pointer, just so it's obvious to the user that it is clickable. All right, let's test this out. So I'll refresh my test page. See the wallet's not connected yet. Click connect. I see my wallet address. I see my uh, NFTs load in. And now as I mouse over, I can see my uh, cursor changes. And I'm gonna click one and there's my new profile photo. So I can go through and select different ones and I'll see it change. Um, so hopefully that gives you a good idea of how you can set this up. Obviously, you would want to extend this further, um, maybe give the user a save option. So once they cycle through all their different NFTs and they find the one that they want as their profile photo, they could just hit save and then you would store it in the database or something so that uh, every time they come back, it's set to the photo that they want. But uh, for the purposes of this demo, this is, uh, this is doing what we want. So, um, 
there you have it. Hopefully that was a helpful um, tutorial for you. This was kind of a basic introduction to using MetaMask and OpenSea in Builder. Um, I will have a more advanced um, tutorial where we go further in depth and use some of the other OpenSea um, API calls, um, maybe pulling the collections and um, you know listing all your collections and then you could select from one of those to pull an asset from, something like that. But um, that's, uh, that's it, that's how easy it is. So hope this was helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.